hey slayers welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys the makeup essentials for beginners so these are all the makeup products that you need if you're a beginner when it comes to applying makeup <laughs> Okay, so to start off you need a makeup bag i have this pretty pink glitter makeup bag from sephora as you guys can see thanks to my sister hi melissa and that's how it looks inside so you need a makeup bag to store your makeup at home or even when you're traveling a makeup bag comes in all different sizes so it can be smaller than this can be this size or even bigger than this that really depends on you but i highly recommend getting all sizes for all different purposes then the second thing that we need is a makeup mirror very important so of course you need to look at yourself when you're applying your makeup and um, i got this makeup mirror actually very recently and i got this from if you're in Nairobi, kenya i got this from dubois operida center for 1500 shillings it was the biggest size that they have and i just decided to go big or go home because um the smallest one was very small it was like a handbag size and there's no need of having that because you imagine if you have a vanity table or if you're just applying makeup from wherever you're applying makeup you just need it to sit nicely on your table and you can just apply your makeup very nicely and comfortably with ease you don't want something small where you just struggle to do your eyebrows so just buy a big one once and for all and i like it because um of course you guys can see how classy and pretty it is but i like it mostly because it is a changeable mirror it is dual mirror so you guys can see here it is amplifying okay i don't know whether you can tell that on the video but on this side is the amplifying side so when i look at myself my face is more bigger more precise so my eyebrows everything when i'm doing eyebrows i can see everything detail for detail which is great then on this side is just your normal mirror which is also great so you have two for one two in one and just for 1500 shillings i think that's 15 dollars which is very affordable if you ask me because once you buy a makeup mirror that's it okay so the third thing are these wet wipes um soft care hasn't sponsored this video obviously so um I'm not advertising for soft care um i'm just these are just the wet wipes that i have at the moment but a wet wipe is very important when you're applying makeup when you do makeup because when you're applying makeup it becomes very messy so you need to wipe along the way and patch up along the way so wet wipes are very important okay so now for your makeup application um you need a beauty sponge this is my beauty sponge that i still haven't used um when you're using a beauty sponge i highly recommend this for beginners and when you're using a beauty sponge make sure your beauty sponge is damp okay then of course when you're applying makeup you need some makeup brushes these are my makeup brushes they are very dirty excuse me guys but in tomorrow's video i'll be showing you guys um what makeup brush is used for what okay so be on the lookout for that and i'll also show you how to clean them because as you guys can see they are dirty okay then for your face before you do anything before you apply any makeup you always need a primer i use this illegal primer spray because i have very oily sensitive skin so i like using a spray so i just on my face instead of using a cream where i just you know indulge with my face that will make me get a breakout instantly but if you have dry skin i highly recommend using a cream primer okay then now moving on to the eyes um for your eyeshadow palette as a beginner i highly recommend using a nude eyeshadow palette so you guys can see this is my illegal nudes eyeshadow palette this is what nude eyeshadows look like they're very neutral warm transition colors that's how they look like so this is what i highly recommend using instead of using colors i have a colors eyeshadow palette this is it see it has all different colors it's fun to have to play around with but as a beginner you don't know what color to mix and how to blend it out to just look nice you know as a beginner you might apply these colors and look like a clown so to avoid that i highly recommend as a beginner use a nude eyeshadow palette okay for your eyes as well you need a black mascara a nice liquid black mascara so i've had this for years actually and it's really nice um it's also waterproof after mascara you definitely need a black liquid liner this black liquid liner is used to um align your eyelids is that correct English? align your eyelids Ooh. 
that's a mouthful but anyway that's how it looks like on the inside and this is what you use to create that perfect eye line over here and create that cut eye so very very important to have a black liquid eyeliner also for your eyes but now for your eyebrows you need an eyebrow spoolie so i have this eyebrow spoolie as well from w7 um twist and shape i got this ears ago by the way and they really last for a very long time especially something like this the eyebrow spoolie that's how it looks like that's an eyebrow spoolie this is what you use to brush your eyebrows upwards and sideways and this is the first step before you start doing your eyebrows so getting an eyebrow spoolie if you're starting makeup it's very very important and this one is a two in one but i don't use this side i don't even think i have it so this is the pencil side it had a brown eye pencil so yeah you can look into getting something like this which will make your work very easy i like using my eyebrow pencil also for your eyes for your eyebrows um and you guys can see i have a black eye pencil it's not sharp it's not as sharp it's supposed to be sharper when you're using it to draw your eyebrows to outline your eyebrows i like it because it comes with a pencil as you guys can see so you can use this to sharpen your eyebrow pencil you see just like that and you can make it more sharp which will be now ready for use for you to do your eyebrows um if you're a beginner i have a black one i always use a brown one but my brown one got lost so i'm currently using this black one but i highly recommend if you're a beginner please use a brown eye pencil do not use a black eye pencil a black eye pencil is very hard to work around with so a brown eye pencil is more natural looking and more easy to work around with so please use a brown eye pencil okay and now moving on to your face you need a foundation so i use this um fenty beauty foundation in the shade 450 it's my natural skin tone foundation so make sure you use your natural skin tone foundation i've had this for a few years right now i think it's actually over but i really like it it's fenty beauty by our girl Riri. so of course Mm, and it still smells like chocolate guys this is the best foundation ever invented i need to get another one soon but you can get different brands i also use a zaron foundation is my zaron here is my zaron foundation so i also use zaron this illegal this mac this dior they're endless um foundations so just make sure you're using your natural skin tone foundation and your skin type foundation for me i have oily sensitive skin like i mentioned so this zaron foundation as you guys can see it's written oil control there so it means it's a mattifying foundation which is perfect for my oily skin so this is what i'm supposed to use i'm not supposed to use a hydrating foundation because i have oily skin adding a hydrating foundation to my oily skin is only going to make me look like a clown so make sure you, when you're going to buy foundation you know your skin type whether your oily skin dry skin or combination skin make sure to tell the makeup attendant that and have swatches of different foundations until you find your suitable foundation color then the next thing after foundation is concealer i use this illegal pro concealer i've been using it for years before i started makeup this is what the girlies were using when i was doing makeup this is what the girlies are using even now i'm doing makeup this is what the girlies are using later on in future this is what the girlies will be using this illegal pro concealer is the best in the market it has been here and it is here to stay so i highly recommend using this whether you have oily skin dry skin or combination skin this is the concealer to use and it's also very affordable i think it's the cheapest of concealers which is good for our pockets so yeah i use mine in the shade phone make sure you use a concealer that is two shades lighter than your natural skin tone okay then now to contour and highlight your face um you need these two powders as you guys can see this one is light and this one is dark so you need a two shades lighter than your natural skin tone powder and a two shades darker than your natural skin tone powder okay so um i have this benai banana powders the dark one and the light one for contouring so of course the dark one is for contouring and the light one is for highlighting so this one you apply everywhere where you have applied your concealer your t-zone areas and all of that so yeah if you don't if you don't use a banana benai powder you can also use such a buttercup such a buttercup is another powder that has been in the game for years it is best and it's here to stay okay then of course to highlight your face because you need that glow when you've done a full face beat till it amplifies your look i highly recommend this maybelline master chrome highlighter i've had this for years i got this as a gift and let me tell you guys this you need this you need you guys can see i've had it for so many years i think about five years right now and it is still the same 
hasn't changed because you just use a little bit but the shine the glue in this thing uh, you need to get this lastly you need um a setting spray i don't have a setting spray this is rose water that i'm holding up so i use rose water i don't really believe in using setting spray i don't see the need of using a setting spray but they say it's supposed to make your makeup last longer it has its own benefits but me i use rose water okay when i don't have rose water i just use normal water from a running taps or the water that you drink to set my face it's a very mm, step for me so yeah highly recommend getting a setting spray if you're a beginner when it comes to makeup but me i use rose water just in case um you're on a budget and setting spray is a bit beyond your budget because i know like that illegal setting spray is three thousand kenya shillings so for me that's hey on the higher side i just rather use my rose water this was that i got for under 100 shillings from du bois operator center here in kenya so this is what i use just to and i only use this to just soak up my powders so those contour powders those baking highlighting powders just to soak them up and make my face just you know come to life be one so that you don't see the powder and the creams and all those differences so just to set it all i just use rose water or normal water last but not least as a beginner wearing makeup i highly recommend using one lippy so you can use a matte lipstick you can use a lip gloss whatever it is but use a dark lippy so you guys can see i have my back and day reddish lipstick over here you can um i highly recommend using one color like this when you're a beginner instead of using nudes or those colored ones because there are ways where you need to apply it and blend it in which a beginner might not know how to work around so just using one color is enough you know you can just use your black eye pencil to outline your lips i have that video posted be sure to check that out of how we are doing our lipstick in 2023 then you apply your lippy just one lippy and you're good to go but guys that's it for your makeup essentials for 2023 for beginners i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned something please like this video please share this video feel free to comment down below i'll really appreciate it and most importantly make sure you're subscribed to my channel please i'm begging you let's take a minute let's take a minute for you to subscribe to my channel i'm waiting Okay, done. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you're subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it. So that's it for today's video, Slayers. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Slayers.